Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to create login and register page using Laravel UI packets. Laravel UI is a very simple authentication scaffold built on the Bootstrap CSS framework. If you have not subscribed our channel yet, please do subscribe and let's get started. First of all, let's open the git bash and here you need to go to inside the SD docs and here you can see here we are going inside the project directory where we need to install laravel project let's install the laravel project laravel new laravel iphone auth laravel auth is my project name so to install laravel project it might take a couple of minutes so let's wait for it all right our laravel project is installed now let's go inside the project directory and let's run the php artisan solve copy this url and run this from browser all right here you can see our laravel project is set up and in the header section we don't have anything okay now let's install the laravel ui package for that let's run the command composer require laravel ui so let's wait for it now let's run the php artisan here you can see all the list of commands that you can use inside ui you can see ui colon auth and let's run it it will set up the login and registration views and routes so let's go to the browser and run it here in the top section you can see we have login and register once you click on login you can see login form which is not looking good and once you click on register you will see the registration form and which is also not looking good so let's install the bootstrap you can run php artisan ui hyphen iphone health to see all the presets here you can see we have different type of presets bootstrap view react and let's install the bootstrap for that php artisan ui bootstrap all that bootstrap is also now installed now here you can see we need to run npm install and npm run dev so let's run it oops there is some issue it might be because of the spacing so let's type it again installing npm and npm run dev it might take a couple of minutes so let's wait for it Let's run the npm run dev once again. Alright, project is compiled successfully. So let's run the project PHP artisan solve. Let's refresh the browser and if you click on login here you can see we have a pretty good screen now and also for the register we have a good screen now let's create an account once you click on register here you can see no connection could be made because the target machine actively refused it is because of the database connection issue so make sure you have created a database if not now let's start the jam server before creating a database so let's start apache and mysql and let's go to the localhost php my admin here we'll create a database click on new and give the database name whatever you want for me it's laravel on the scroll and click on create all right we have created the database now let's set up this in environment file so let's go to the env file 
you can click on env and provide all the database details db collection will be mysql db host will be localhost or 127.0.0.1 you can give the database name username and the password of your database all right now let's run the migration file before that let me clean this screen let's run the migration command php artisan migrate here you can see we have a users table and also the password and the jobs table so let's get back to the database and here you can see all the tables are created in the users table you can see we have name email and other fields now let's run the project once again here let's register the account for that you can provide the name email password and confirm password click on register alright we have successfully created our account now here in the users table you can see we have all the details of that account alright let me log out that and let me log in from login page and here we are able to successfully log in our user to restart the password you can click on reset password and you can provide the email address but uh, to send the email you need to provide the email configuration on env file for that i'm going to escape right now now let's get back to the web.php here you can see auth routes this will handle all the routes for the authentication here in the authentication section you can see we have login controller and you can also change this route service provider currently it is pointing to the home page if you want to make other default then you can update that as well here in the home equals to you can see slash home if you want to put different route then you can update this one all right now let's add some other fields in the registration form here I'm going to add address as a new field for that you can provide the address over here and now let's get back to the model and here also in the fillable you need to add address and then you need to update the migration file let's go back to the migration it's inside the database migration you can see users table and here you can add that field instead of adding new field there uh, let's make the new migration file php artisan make migrate add address to users here you can provide the table name and it will be users for me now it will create a new migration file let's go to the migration here you need to add address okay To provide the rollback option you need to add drop column in down function once you do migrate rollback it will drop this address all right let's run the migration now you can see new field is added in our users table and here you can refresh and see address is added at the last Actually, I wanted to add this after the email sections, but it is at the last. So let's add after method over there. And I also want to make it nullable. You can provide the parameters like true or false, but by default, it will be true. Now let's run PHP artisan micro rollback. It will remove the field from the table. And now let's run the migrate again. Okay, all right our new field is added and it will be after the email field here you can see address is added after the email and it is nullable now let's run the project php artisan serve and let's back to the browser and here you can refresh and you can go to the register in register section you can see name email address password confirm password we don't have that address available right now so we need to update the blade file for that you can go inside the inside the resources views auth and you can click on the register.blade.php here you can add that field okay i'm going to update this
all right now save this now let's get back to the browser and refresh the page here you can see we have address all right now let's provide the details and you can see this email is already registered so let's create a new one okay now click on register here you can see undefined arrow key I think something we missed in the blade file so let's go back to the blade file okay address and I think there is something missing okay name equals to you can see name but it should be address alright let's save this and run it once again provide the details over here alright we have successfully added new field in our users table as well so this is the way you can customize and you can create login and register page in laravel in future we'll create other videos with bridge and jet stream so keep in touch if you like this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you for watching till now